this is the right at Orcas Island. Across the island and uh, up on Constitution, one of the great, great climbs of this region for a road cyclist at least. Warm August day. Quite a ways beyond mid-summer solstice, maybe seven weeks. I'm getting lucky. There's a survey in this area shows that uh, first week of August is the driest week available in uh, good light. Also good temperature. It's turning out to be dead nuts on August 11th. Just left the ferry terminal. is a completely different ballgame. I've done that many times, but as I get older, it gets harder. And also, strangely enough, I have much better equipment now. The equipment is built for road cycling, touring, and actually for speed. It's not built for climbing. So, uh, strangely enough, I've climbed this thing with an old aluminum bike. They had 0.85 leverage, so small sprocket. Significantly so, so it bridged leverage such that each time I turn the crank, the back will turn 0.85 times. Right now, I what's called compact professional gearing, which uh, racing cyclists use. It's considered climbing gear for them, but they're much fitter than I am. So I turn the crank, the back wheel turns 1.1 times. It's about a 20% difference. It's a big difference when you're climbing really, really steep roads. First thing you notice about Orcas when you're on here versus the other islands is that any good hill here is quite steep and quite long. It takes a lot of patience initially to sort of settle in. almost a 9% grade here. Just a little hill. No big deal. Orcas Island. Mount Breeze out. A ton of sunlight. Getting some soothing effects. Probably couldn't be a better day. Right. Also, allow us to descend pretty safely, uh, at least as far as the bike is concerned. The uh, traffic's in another matter. Cars here, certain places. 
cannot fit on the road with a bicycle. Especially on Mount Constitution. Climbing, we tend to be okay. Can get in trouble. Descent, we're always in trouble. From minute one. <clears throat> because the cars don't know where they'll let us go. We'll try to beat us out. And, uh, causes a lot of reactive uh, moments. section of course. So most of the first mile and a half has been just trying to get up one big hill. But uh, it's been 12 to 15 miles to the park. Amazing scenery here. Love the shade, of course. 
on rainy days, I'm guessing all those overhangs will probably just drip a bunch of water on us. But uh, these sunshiny days gives a regular break of temperature exposure. Here. It's very interesting. Don't ever see that. It's a small bike lane here, about two feet, just barely enough. The roads in these islands are mostly kind of um, uh, small bumps, small gravel they use, excess gravel to defeat weather changes in the wintertime and keep the road from cracking. It's done a good job because the road doesn't have cracks. Most rural roads I see. Disappears. It's where the limit of the bicycle turn out. Um, pretty narrow road. Not tra that well traveled. It's a Tuesday, speaking of which, a great day to come out here is a non weekend day. All the problems we have here will relate to either the elevation changes. One of those two things you've done yourself a big favor. I've done myself one today by being here on Tuesday. Last day here. Get a great ride on San Juan and uh, Lopez. Love them both for different reasons. Good training, about 2,200 feet of ascent on both, about 40 miles for each. Nice, nice rides. Going to come here and practice. Good to do a ride and take a rest day. On a rest day, maybe go kayaking or walking, hiking, whatever you want to do. Stay active. Nice good solid ride every other day. On the third or fifth day. Hit the nice get your, get your big big ride here if you're feeling not good. For non constitution, you just must have uh, done a lot of climbing. You shouldn't bother you to climb, you should have done a lot of climbs throughout your history, especially your recent history. It's not enough to ride a bike around your neighborhood. Climbing is a different, uh, different animal. In your climbing, you must have ascended 8, 10, and 12 percent paces because you're going to hit them on this mountain. More than 10 percent paces. Those are the ones that are quite really hard. Ten percent steep enough to where uh, you know, it doesn't seem that steep if you put a plank down that's 10 feet long and one foot break at one end. You look at it and say, well, Okay, it's 10 feet and it goes up one foot. But uh, when you're out, out here on the road, it feels about twice that bad physically. Twice as bad as it looks. Because there's a tremendous force of gravity. Trying to move your bike. Trying to move your bike backwards. So you're sitting on the bike and it's on wheels. They kind of have a negative effect. It's a liquid pull. Constant. Never lets go. And if, if, you, if you have a long ride, maybe more than two or three miles, the average 8% or higher, you'll be tired right away. You lose all your immediate strength. You have to start resorting to tricks like standing up on the bike, which you'll get tired of doing. It will also exhaust you. And uh, beyond that, halfway up Mount Constitution, a lot of people are going to pretty much stop. Because you have to have a lot of reserve to get up this mountain. 
not be underestimated. This is a show that traffic's got to make it itself. I'm not going to get bounced in a car. Love it here. This is a. I like the drama. I love all the changes, even though they're inconvenient for the bike. You keep seeing more things. You get to look down into little valleys and pastures. There are more real mountain mountain features around versus just hills. There really are many mountains here. Imagine walking up there, looking around. Very, very dramatic scenery up there at the top. Nice and warm today. I'm never going to see people riding in the San Juans and saying, oh, nice and warm today. Forget about it. blessed with weather. The Lorena Lopez was amazing. Same exact weather here. It's above 75. To these people here, this is like a 110 degree day in most places. Their ambient temperature you might see year round, probably 45 degrees. Maybe 50, I don't know. 50 maybe, I guess, average. So yeah, 75, 80 is... 50 percent higher than their normal sort of temperature they're used to living at. I don't have a really thick skin, so I'm not going to have cold temperatures. That's why I planned this trip this time here. You should try to do the same. July, August, if you can. I think July, early August, if you're ideally, if you can plan maybe four months in advance, six months in advance. It's done. You can stay on that orchids. Some interesting places in their older. Maybe there is one there in Deer Park. It's pretty nice, very expensive, but it could be cool. If you dedicate yourself to this island and spend more time here, you'll have a lot to do in terms of recreation and physical activity, but probably nothing to do socially. That's pretty much at Friday Harbor on San Juan. I meet a lot of people on these ferries and talk to them, but they're uh, experiences and expectations, and generally, outdoors type people will come here. They'll hike here a lot. They'll kayak, they'll kayak here. <clears throat> it can be an all-in-one destination if you find the right accommodations. There are a lot of beat-up old places here too. Not really worth staying at. It might be quite unpleasant. Look at your travelers or you see what I mean. Not enough infrastructure here or money to support really nice lodging, except for the resort. The cool thing about the resorts is if you can afford that kind of lifestyle, you could probably take a hydroplane over to Roach Harbor or land in various places and go traveling and walking and hiking and canoeing uh, on hydroplanes. I've always thought that'd be a really cool lifestyle. Planes land on the water, they're just beautiful. On a sunny day, it looks lovely at least, but uh, in bad weather, it must be very scary. We pretty much crawl our way through this island. The frustrating part, so I'm not very far to Moran. But, uh, a lot of climbing.
been on from a sort of a tip from the ferry landing and come on a road that's twists a little bit, but has a general direction towards the upper middle of the island where the town is at. So it's like a rural road getting into a small town. Not much out here, but uh, it's very important as you can see, lovely fields. Considering how wet it is here, they're saying they're in a dry season. I thought it was such a thing in this area, but apparently in July or so this year, 2015, they had some lack of rain for a month. There's a lot of yellow grass here. Apparently the local vegetation just insists upon being dumped with rain. If it doesn't get it for a month, it just dies immediately. So, I've been stressed out here over that. Not used to these kinds of conditions. <laughs> side where we are at, showing us how to continue, no problem, no shoulder, unfortunately, in fact, the edge of the road is a bit curved, humped in the wrong way off the road, so you can't be on the white line here either. has a sense of size and scope, but it doesn't have as much settlement, in my opinion. It's large pieces of land and farms. It just has a little wooded look, which you might say, more trees, more, more to see here, more, more nature. I think it really is the, the most beautiful island they have here uh, that's accessible and usable. Of course, Mount Constitution is itself like an entire ecosystem of interesting things, like hikes, is <clears throat> hard to beat. This golf course here is kind of great. Or kind of great. Don't think they're known for golf here. Thank you. 
So the roads that go, they go through some of the mountains and the faces and sides, rocks, all the features, plants of every kind, greenery. Just love the nature. It's a dream place to come, but it's just a bit rugged for most cyclists, I think. And also with the shoulderless roads in the areas in high traffic sometimes a year, especially weekends, this will be a, a possible ride you might consider if you're really feeling your oats. Here maybe, uh, I don't know, 30 times or 40 times in my lifetime. Slightly harder. around the bay like some of the islands in the French Tahiti and those places is a huge bit that preoccupies the entire center of the island. It's so big that actually it's, we're all we're coming all the way up into town here shortly and the bay is still here with us. And it makes a very neutral shape of the island horseshoe for the ma major part of the island and uh, we're going from one horseshoe and the other around the horseshoe go over to Moran Park and Constitution. It also gives you a nice view of water through the trees. Very soothing. Oh, 
Main Street. What uh, happened is the street changed names. becomes Crescent Beach Drive, same road. Can you see the bay in front of you? Stay in the water. Lots of better way to run on this island. Stay right down here. It's also very, very scenic. One of a kind stuff here. San Juan Islands. Perfect day. 75 degrees. Still calm water. A little soothing breeze that breathes blowing across the handlebars. Just imagine jumping there with a kayak and roaming around. This looks so easy, so friendly, quiet, friendly, open, welcoming environment. I just love this place. reduction speed limit. We noticed a right turn sign. This didn't say Main Street, but indicating there was a road going through on that right side. Before town, we took it, stayed along the water, continued straight, basically. Street changed names. And now we're about to join the place we want, which is the main highway to Moran Park. It's right in front of us. Pretty simple. Okay, we're not getting lost doing this. If you look at a street map, it actually looks like 10 times more complicated than it is. Intuitively, it's simple. We've only made one major change, one major right turn. 
approaching our second major right turn. Basically across the horseshoe on the small side. Now we're gonna go to the second long side of the horseshoe to the right. Take us to Rand Park. <clears throat> well marked. This road dead ends. Right turn, Olga Road. This road may change names. But it's again a main road. Stay on this main road. It's also called Scenic Byway. Sign for that. Around the islands, the Scenic Byway is marked. So apparently we're on one now. Okay. That's good. Let's get over Mount Constitution. Ready to bite this thing off. We want to dilly dilly too much before we get there. Thank <laughs> you. 
just the approach to my constitution in some ways feels like climb. Eight percent again. So in some ways it's like extended climb. In terms of the impact upon your body, it certainly is.
sense. The energy it's taking to get the process up. Big hills. Very steep. sign the moran looks pretty big so what we're looking for is the sign for the uh, for the climate constitution which would be maybe two miles in or something we're already 13 miles so <clears throat> it's taking about an hour to get out here Feet. Just 
just farting around trying to get 50 miles behind a path out would be that silly. That's quite a bit. That's it's not. It's more than hill riding. The hill riding is way down below the ground. Twice as severe. So we might get a little bit tired. Constitution. We're going to stop here, a little mini break, uh, get our wits about us, one hour exactly, yeah, about 14 miles, so not much of a performance, but uh, it's kind of all you get when you come up here. There's the road to Mount Constitution right above us. Okay, no more funny business through the entire park. Now we're on the climb to Mount Constitution. Very narrow, twisty road. No shoulder. as I pass you going downhill. Absolutely smoking. out today with Cadence. and all the things you've done to try to get fit for a moment like this, so it is a big moment. Left turn, Mount Constitution. That's where the climb actually begins. Five miles. I do mean straight up.
nice shade. Late in the summer. So benign enough, around 6%. It's gonna go in surges and sections. trailheads here for hiking, which actually, despite sort of the fact that I love this bike ride, the hiking here is truly spectacular, as it goes around the mountain and views the lake, <clears throat> many access points, cross trails in every direction around the island, the mountain is so predominant, just fascinating to wander around out there. If you want to camp, you can certainly come here and camp and do quite a bit. interesting just to warn off from all the weather and the traffic it's a slight escape point here to jump off the road if you get in trouble but it's transient it comes and goes bit of a rail here which is nice it's not going to stay here either Yeah. <laughs> 
SUVs can almost not pass, or really not pass safely. My uh, support vehicle is Yukon XL. Two of those on this road. Wow, it's tight. like a lane just a little strip of uh, concrete twisting and bending its way up
percent. back to see the bay to the trees very steep
getting steep. Switch back. trees here. Road's got uh, tree roots underneath it, so if you're descending, you can really hit some big old spots. Got big humps. This road is cracked from weather.
feet. And uh, two miles. 650 per mile. Is that not possible? Puts us above 12%. around us. Good news is we're climbing very fast. Makes the climb shorter. Quite severe. Feet, I don't know, 40 feet above me, above me to my left is the road I'm going on to. And it's pinching here in front of me. And another switchback. Wow, the vistas are great. Whoa, shoot. Look at that view. From a bicycle, but no less. <laughs> Feels like we parachuted off some Mount Everest. Ah, come on, baby. Stay cool. Switch back. Uh, <laughs> outer switchbacks are easier for us than inner to ride. It's a long way around, switch back. It's a short way through. There's a bit of trouble right there. He gets trapped in the switch back, trying to fall down to the short distance, the short corner. The vehicle's too long to go through the corner. That's not a bad one, it's an outer switch back. Ah, whoa. There's my heart rate, 145, good. 150 or less is fine with me. 165, I have a heart attack essentially. Switch back and forth. Straight up this mountain. They ran out of space. Bad news is it gets very steep. Good news is it climb gets the top faster. It's 
in your outlook, I guess. What do you think is good or bad names? face of the mountain, switching back to get up the mountain, and now we're heading in, still way up, about 9%. Looking for distance at 18.25, completion, we're at 17.07, wow, hard to believe, we're only a mile 1.2 miles from completion, but the mountain is not as high as I expected. Well, my altimeter is screwed up. One of the other, we'll see what's, what's here. The, here's the uh, little summit. 22. 2200 yen off by 10%. 2200 feet. Little summit. Which means we have a mini break. 2200 feet actually I'm sorry I reported 2000 all my estimates are 10% under I have to get a course correction on the TCX file before I publish it just a software altimeter it's not accurate here's a, here's the mini break surprisingly we get one Reports where the Constitution was at 3,000 feet. It's not going to be possible. It's not enough distance. We're uh, already at the mini break, which is like a little uh, breach in the climb. So um, maybe it has a portion of 3,000 feet that's above people or above where we're at. But uh, the distance at 4.7 miles down below was way wrong. I thought it was seven or six and a half seven that's all i could calculate to get us up that high it's a little meadow here which means we're a full summit we're running out of space severely out of space 17 to a one mile to summit even at eight nine percent give me a 450 which is at about 2800, 2750. Let's see how it goes. Could be quite steep this last piece.
daybreak. It's a good long mini break there. That's about a mile. Came off those switchbacks on the face of the mountain. Turned in, took some shade. And since I've been just rolling around a bit with some ascent, we should see a very severe finishing piece. was 1.2 miles away, but that's not a circular hiking trail, which they go around the mountain and come up it. So 
been much, much farther away than we are on a direct road. right turn. Must have a big bite in store for us here to get some hour altitude. Just not high enough yet. Nice break there at the top. It's just beautiful. Very relaxing and a half or so, just basically like hill riding. No big deal. Road up here is pretty rough for the descent. Watch out for all these broken out pieces, crevasses, holes, pots, flaws, bumps. Pretty bad. Very, very rough ride considering it'll be high speed. Good. Thank <sighs> you. 
course set to Vision 2600 adjusted. 18.8 miles. Average speed just under 10 miles an hour. Just under two hours. Okay. Descending from Mount Constitution. Haven't done this in a while. Should be fun. Just got a warning from a fellow biker that there are major, major gaps in the road. severe. <laughs> 
Hard to make them. They're that tight on a uh, bicycle. Thank <laughs> you. 
it's almost no real speed there because the corners are too severe and the road condition is poor. Without a car in front of me, I could have made a lot better time, but um, taking some risks. wind as we came out, but right in our faces. So not a good development. Temperature-wise, it's good, but uh, it's hard to make any progress on a wind. So 500 feet, or more, 600 feet. Descent here, so this is going to be very nice. Not so much fun because the wind hangs us up, but uh, take some pressure off the bike. This is a freebie of the return ride. Right? Should enjoy it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Turn feels quite a lot 
faster because of that little reach when we get to the Get to ride uh, down an ascent, really there's a mini ascent that uh, on the other way going out is actually like a part of the climb. We climbed a mountain at uh, the Moran State Park, about 500 feet. Then you climb on Constitution, so your turns so are free drop, give you acceleration, a sense of rolling speed, <coughs> force and power. It's very nice. St. Crescent Beach Drive now, and then Main Street. Three street names, same street. Uh, yeah, yeah, keep going. Keep going. You're good. Everybody's lost out here. Doesn't have his nap. <laughs> Often I watch these rides and have naps. It's slightly confusing. But once you've done it a couple times, I'm sure. Major left turn there, if I may. On a horseshoe. Now one more left turn here. Turn to the ferry dock on a long left horseshoe. That's all like this. Nice down here, I like this little town. I like Lucas generally. Just been rugged from cycling, but they don't think they handle it. The woods are quite, quite, uh, Amazing. Stop sucking, here we are. Last two. day, I think. Stop sign, well marked. Orcus Road. Sink byway left. This pattern of uh, climbing big hills, big big hills.
works. It's a slightly almost fall feeling day, but a warm fall day. I guess it's still a little bit into August. But uh, sometimes they have an Indian summer here, but it's never terribly dry. It just means that the temperatures are mild with the lighter rain. A lot of rain here. Even uh, 10 days ago or so, there was a wind reporting rain today. Then it uh, dissipated. Could have just as easily rained. Looks like a phallic symbol. Big old bumps around it. Representing all these big old hills. <coughs> Constitution looms large in the middle. side of the things that's nicest over here. Water and trees. Big old mountains.
completely by here, considering how far we are. Yeah, the source is pretty amazing. I saw these bicycles this afternoon going up the mountain. Uh, I went up when I could start very late. And, uh, hey, now I see these guys, men and women of all ages, cycling through the island this time of day. It's, uh, it's 5.15 p.m. Harry leaves at 7. You're not on it. You ain't leaving. I think there's another ferry tonight. Maybe a weeknight. Maybe at 11 or something. Maybe not. shot by now.
It's a bit busy, it's all. In the ferry road. Anyways, it's a tremendous sense of tranquility here. Isolation. It's just so quiet. To me, the end of day makes it even worse than just to soften the light. Slows it down a bit. understand the basic principle of it, but there's a you know, fairly narrow piece of land shaped around a bay. It's actually a lot easier to navigate around here. Also, the park, Moran Park, it dominates so much the landscape and the Elvis inside. You can't do much over there. You just sort of go around Mount Constitution. It's hard to get lost there. You ain't very far off track here. You reach a dead end, reach the ocean, reach something like that. 
there is a little piece next to us where the Deer, Deer Park or Deer Harbor Inn is at. It's like an attached piece to work is on this side to my right. We'll see the road out there shortly. I've been out there. I didn't go out there. shoulder is a significant mark down. Well, there's Deer Harbor. Deer Harbor is a resort. There's the right turn. About two miles from the ferry landing as well. Let's go on for some time to the book. 
uh, you can't put shoulders in the rows. It's only for cyclists to feel safe. It's nice that there's a turnout, which just means we have to stop and get off the road. Much of a benefit. This isn't blocking traffic all the time, which makes us feel very, very nervous. It's going to drive us active.
five feet. Drop down to zero here shortly. Last mile, I guess. I'll be downhill. Thank <laughs> you. 
37 and a half miles. Three hours, five minutes. Average speed 12, 12 miles an hour for tensor purposes. Uh, 4,200 feet of ascent. Not a very good average time, but uh, quite a lot of work on the course at uh, way, way higher than 100 feet per mile. Yeah, quite a difficult course. Very advanced course, but uh, thrilling. Check it out.